Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an installment of Sapphic Saturday. Woo! Jazz hands. So I haven't done a Sapphic Saturday in a while. Um, not because I haven't been reading Sapphic books, but because I haven't been making videos. So I thought it was high time to do a Sapphic Saturday. And um, today's Sapphic Saturday spotlight is on The Midnight Lie by Marie Rukoski. Um, I read this book in October and I gave it four stars, although it's a, more of a high four stars, maybe a 4.5 stars. So this is, The Midnight Lie is about Narim, who lives on the island of Harath, I believe it's called. And this island has a caste system. So there's the High Kith, who is the highest point on the caste, who's the highest caste. Then there's the Middling, which is the middle point, the good name for the caste. And then there's the Half Kith. So the Half Kith basically are restricted from anything that's luxurious or pleasing to the eye or pleasing to the senses. They, they wear like gray clothes, um, they eat bland food, and the high kith, they get to enjoy all of that. They basically, it's basically like the, the half kith make goods, the middling sell the goods, and the high kith enjoy the goods. The high kith are like old money and it's not very fair, obviously, it's a caste system. Caste systems are never fair. But yeah, Narim is a half kith and she lives in this tavern with her adoptive mother, Raven, and the other girls that live there. And one day there's an Elysium bird, which is a pet of the high kith, gets released into the um, walled off area that the half kith, li half -kith live in. And the Elysium bird, whoever catches it, um, will have like a wish come true. So everybody's looking for it, but um, it basically comes to Nurim and she goes to jail. In jail, she meets somebody named Sid. Sid turns out to be this woman who's, from an, who's exploring from far away. And that's how the book comes to be. So what did I like about this book? I liked the world building. Um, the It's part of an established series. So it's called um, the Winners Trilogy, I believe, by Marie Rukowski. And so it's part of an established world already. And I think that Sid comes from one of the established countries, but Harath is like uh, this island that's no n on no maps, and um, it, the the kind of building of the the island and all of the complex like the caste system, the the trading of goods, the language it's all very interesting. I really love good world building, and I think this book does it really well. Um, there are a few clunky parts, like trying to understand where Sid comes from and her um, her lineage, and like if you haven't read the Winners Trilogy, which I have not, and I don't really plan to, um, then you don't really understand that part, and it, you're just kind of expected to. So I would have liked to have more world building in that aspect. Um, Another part I really enjoyed was the magic system. The It is so whimsical. Like I really like whimsical books and I kind of separate them as like, like light whimsy and dark whimsy. This one is definitely more of a dark whimsy and um, most of the magic comes from elixirs that can be drank or dust that can be consumed and all these elixirs do something different and it is really cool to like imagine all of the elixirs that you could like come up with like there's one elixir that makes you fly or float there's one elixir that makes you see like a memory that you forgot it's it's good and um 
there's also um, gods. There's like a hundred gods that everyone has forgotten, um, but there are still like lingering like traces of these gods and how that connects to magic is really cool. Um, another thing I liked about this book was the characters, Nrim and Sid. Um, so Nrim was really sweet. She is kind of like coming out of her shell and doing things that are unexpected to her. And I really liked watching her evolve as a character. I also liked Sid. Sid is like this soft butch girl who really is like fascinated by Narim. And um, that brings me to their romance. Their romance was the highlight of this book to me. It is a fantasy romance, but the, the sapphic romance in this book was so soft. Like, they are so soft for each other. And, like, Sid would do anything for Narim, and Narim is just, like, pulled to Sid. And it's just, like, there's so much chemistry between them. Like, I loved it. Also, if you like mutual pining as a trope, this has mutual pining. Um, it, it was just excellente. Um, something I didn't like about this book was the twists. I saw all of them coming. It was nice to watch them kind of happen and what happened after that, like how the consequences were, but I saw all of it coming. The pacing was also kind of clunky and not my favorite but um the romance was just it made up for everything like I love the romance so that brings me to the four questions that I always have at the end of a sapphic book so was the romance the focus of the story um well half of it was devoted to the romance half was devoted to um the plot development and the way that the plot goes so there's a lot to this plot and it's kind of intertwined with the romance aspect so they're kind of inextricable um, but I think that it evenly balanced each other so it it ended up kind of being a focus on the romance kind of not so I hope that answers somebody's question was it a healthy romance? Yes, it was delightful. Was this book clean or explicit? While it did get steamy and there were a couple of insinuations that um, were a little adult, I still think that this would be good for a teenager. Um, it's, it, it was mostly clean. So if you want to give it to like a young teenager, uh, maybe not a young teenager, more like an older teen. Did the couple have a happy ending? It is too early at this point to tell because it is a duology or a trilogy. I think it's a duology, but um, I'm not going to tell you how this book ends um, because that would be a spoiler, but it was, it was, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> um, it was just, it's too early to tell whether this is going to be a happy ending or not. So that's all for that. Um, if you have any sapphic book recommendations that you'd like to see me cover, please write them down below in the comments. I would love to read some of the suggestions and do another sapphic Saturday soon. Uh, I do have a, another one planned for an arc that I read in last December that would be a good Christmassy sapphic read, um, so look forward to that. And um, thank you for watching. That's all for me for now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!